my name is James Robert, and this is my story. I was born in the middle of a civil war in my country. For me, I technically didn't have a childhood. The civil war destroyed a lot of things for my family. They had a good life before the civil war started. And when the war started, they basically lost everything. And then I was born in the middle of that. I had to learn everything from my grandparents because I didn't have the opportunity to go to school. And then, like, after the war ended, I'm a 14 year old kid and I'm sitting in the, like elementary class and I'm looking at my friends that had the opportunity to go to school and doing recess and stuff, I'll go sit with my age group. At the end of the, the recess, I'll have to go back and go sit with these little kids. It's something that, that had a negative impact on me for a long time. That was the most difficult part of my childhood. But I had this passion that I really wanted to do something with my life and I wanted to go to school. So when we got here, my mom and my dad was like, we need you guys to start school as soon as possible. James will speak about his first day at Bryan High School, and he'll tell you that he came into the school and he met some of the adults there and he was immediately swept away for some testing to allow the teachers, the counselors, the staff members to really know where James was on an educational level. There's a lot of pieces that even James didn't see happening. It was horrible because I wasn't able to read properly and I wasn't able to speak the English properly. And my writing was basically horrible. It was not a good feeling for me that day. But as I said, it's something that I always know, no matter how difficult it was, I still went back anyway and I never stopped. Yes, yes, okay. this is it. This is it. And yes. how's college? Oh, it's great. I graduated. Woo! I know. I graduated. Starting from my first day, my first week, this, the, the teachers personally went to a library and they selected elementary books for me. They focused more on how well to develop my reading, my writing, and they did that personally. So I had people sitting in the library with me for three hours and just having a conversation with me. One of the things that I've seen with students who come back is that they remember not your lesson on commas and exclamation points, but the time that you spent with them. And especially in hearing as students come back and reflect, taking that personal time to invest in your students, to connect with your students is gonna have a long-term benefit. Having just people that don't know anything about me, that don't know me, don't know my story, interested in my education so much, coming like, oh, okay, maybe this is not going to be so bad. And I went back the next day, and it's that love and that attention towards me personally increased every single day when I was at Bryant. It was, it was something that I never felt before. James's story is a testament to when the community rallies around a student, their, their dreams and hopes can be met. What we did was provide the access and opportunity by removing barriers to know what his needs are and to help him. But the bottom line was, James had to do the work to get his diploma. We're just very fortunate to have walked through this journey with James. Not every teacher gets to walk through the journey with their students, and so I hope James is teachers who are not sitting with us here today, everybody played a role in his success. For me getting pain, it had to go to Miss Hotel and that it came because without them, me going to college was not going to be possible. When I was given the opportunity to graduate, I called her right away. I'm like, yeah, you don't want to pay me because I understood that I wanted her to be part of the journey that she had helped create it. I was able to succeed through high school for three years and went to college and have the strong enough foundation to stand on and actually be one of the best students at my school.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can't count our fingers. Yes, so um uh, can we count how many students we have to Oh yeah, that's a good one. We can count how many students. I've been to Virginia for a month and a half and I received a call a couple of days ago that today might be my last day. When I was given the opportunity to be home for a while before getting deployed, I knew there's something to do, but I didn't want something that having don't have no meaning to it. So I wanted to be a part of something that will have an impact on the school district I went to. And I also wanted something that would kind of challenge me a little bit more. So that's why I took on teaching. Even though they are little kids, they still have the same feelings and same emotions and same interest as everyone else. And because of that, I've been able to get into that space and be able to build a relationship with them. Today, most likely, is my last day. People think I'm leaving, but I'm not leaving. The school is always going to be my school. The county is always my county. Whenever I'm back, I'm always going to stop back in. Because this, yeah, this is my home, you know.